In this video, I'm going to share with you the different use cases of the Argo Atlas, which I think every citizen should be aware of. Before we get into the video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Drake Cutter. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of September. Let's continue. All right, guys. Um, right now, since the Atlas has come out, a lot of people brought forth the uh, case where they don't see a difference between the tractor beams and the atlas and that uh that renders this uh mech useless but um i think there is a difference there is a significant difference first and foremost let me start off with the uh the uh basic one the multi-tool right so with the small one scu boxes you can carry them um okay but uh, it's a little slow to move them around right as well you also have to deal with the scrolling back and forth plus you also have some range limit with them as well so see max and that falls okay so that's a limitation right here um also the heavier there's limitations for the multi-tool to pick up heavier boxes so now when we switch over to the handheld tractor beam this one is a little bit better but it's still slow look at this look at this okay look at this all right and rotation is not too bad as well for the smaller boxes but when we start talking about uh the heavier boxes it's a struggle as well scrolling this one has a better range, but it still has some limitations. Yeah, you get a warning, I think, and then it drops, okay? Uh, this one can't even pick up the 32 SE, okay? This one, yeah, it, it actually does. And I think rotation is okay for this one. Let's see the range. very slow to move it 50 meters 60 warning so just after 60 so around 60 70 it hits its limit okay so now let's use the atlas and see the difference i like the entry animation is really cool okay so the difference is with the atlas as soon as you click it picks it up and puts it above your head right and um, you don't have to worry about scrolling or anything and then you get a preview of where to place it and it will quickly just place it automatically it'll handle all the scrolling for you pick up drop okay look at the efficiency compared to the other one okay so now let's look at the range let's test the range see how from here the tractor beam the rifle tractor beam uh, hits it li its limit. Look at that. And now I can quickly just put it right there. Look, look how efficient it did that. No scrolling, just two clicks. So now let's let's go back. 73 meters, which is um, a lot further than its limit of uh, the rifle tractor beam. Okay, the handheld, the two-handed one. And look at that. And then I can place it right here. See the difference? See how efficient it does it for you? Look how easy it quickly picks it up. And if you need to, I can't fit that on my MSR, but look how easy it moves these heavy boxes. So that is the difference between the two. So I'm gonna quickly show you how efficient it, it also is in comparison to loading boxes so just make sure you have line of sight to the grid on your ship and you can quickly grab drop look, look how efficient that is grab drop they gotta work out the box the, the bugs with that but you get the idea right you grab yeah they gotta they gotta fix gotta fix these little bugs but you see how efficient this is okay so th that's the significant difference this will definitely speed up the speed 
at which you can move cargo so this is valuable to have i believe everybody should have one of these on their ship uh take care of it everywhere you um you go okay so now let's get into the use cases of this atlas which a lot of people are not considering the very first one we obviously move cargo quicker compared to the other tractor beams secondly um let's say you do you you, you do um uh, sites in terms of like clearing out uh, bounties whether it's um, um, uh, the, the the mercenary missions at bunkers and and, and uh, sites like distribution centers you clear out uh, the NPCs and you want to quickly move all the NPCs close to your ship and uh, loot the, bo the bodies of them you can quickly do that you can quickly move them just like this look at that and these are heavy boxes I'm doing this just imagine just imagine the bodies, right? It'll be just so quick and efficient to do that, with, okay? So now, um, the third use case is uh, using this in your salvage uh, ship. So like reclaimers, I've seen people use this in reclaimers and it's, uh, it'll also help with uh moving the rmc boxes within the reclaimer so that's another use case and one of the ones a lot of people are not considering is also hot dropping because you're in a machine you can hot drop these from atmosphere down to the ground let's say you're doing ground assaults or like uh jump town or anything like that you can hot drop a bunch of these guys and not suffer fall damage because you're in the mech right and this will allow troops to quickly deploy as soon as they drop off they deploy and they're good to go uh to assault the site so a lot of people are not considering this and first and foremost this the original design for mechs were um combat variants of it this is just a cargo one so this is just a test cig is doing this is the very first one of its kind there will be um military ones that we'll be all be able to use and of course we'll also be able to hot drop with them as well and i'm sure cig i hope they consider um at least the uh military ones having small jet packs to maybe allow you to to jump um and, and uh great heights to allow you to get over onto buildings and things like that you know just features like that right um and um them having different weapon mounts allowing you to uh um you know use them in um in different ways so now you can see that this is removable this 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 is removable because i can highlight it so you can swap this out it seems that they're going to be modular and you move swap out the different uh tractor beams so you can see that this is a size one tractor beam that's attached here so of course you could probably use this for salvage you can put a, a a salvage component on here once they allow it and use this also for salvaging it seems like i think this side could probably replace it eventually i hope you can i hope they make these very modular but then again i don't want to make this video too long um, I wanted to show you guys uh, different use cases of this as well as the difference between the tractor beams and the new Atlas. I hope you found value in this video. Before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase 1 Industries, is now recruiting new and better players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.